Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this Postman tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to integrate Postman with the GitHub and uh, Jenkins. So we will see very first topic that is uh, how to integrate Postman with the GitHub. Uh, you can go to the google.com and here you search for Postman with GitHub. So first you need to integrate your Postman collections with the GitHub. You can go to the first link. So if you come down here, first you need to generate the GitHub personal access token. You need to log in into the GitHub and uh, where you are generating the one token. Once you've got the token and uh, simply you can come back to the your Postman tool. So where you have to specify the personal access token of the GitHub in your Postman collection. So you can go to the Postman and here you can on the top left side you will be finding the home button and on the left side you will be seeing the integration over here click on the integrations and on the right side you will be finding the browse all integrations and here you need to search for the github and you will find the github here click on that and you need to click on the add integration for the backup backup collections so in my case already I have added this integration if you look at here so one integration is already there for in my case so I'm not adding it so simply you can follow these steps so simply you can click on this home and integrations and you can add, click on this add integration then later you can provide the github personal access token over here and simply you follow these simple and straightforward steps and your postman collection will be integrated with the github so that's it that's it about the how to integrate Postman with the GitHub. Now let's see how to integrate the Postman with GitHub and Jenkins. Now I will go to the Jenkins and let's create the one job where it is cloning the your Postman collections from the GitHub and it will execute all the APIs. So I will log in into the my Jenkins and <clears throat> sorry guys. So here I'm clicking on new item and here I'm providing the sorry guys here i'm adding the job name as postman with github jenkins and i will select the free freestyle project and i will say okay so that's it and here you can provide the description for the job so here i'll say integrate github with so here I'll say integrate Postman with GitHub and Jenkins. So that's it. You can come down and inside the source code management, you need to select the Git. So here we have to provide the our GitHub repository link. You can go to the google.com and here search for backup and GitHub and you will be finding the very first link or you can go to the first link or you can click on this github.com and followed by the backup and and you need to go to the postman collections by tester stock or you can click on this repositories so here you can simply search for postman collection by tester stock so simply whatever the repository name you are providing here relevant results will be populated here so you can go to the respective uh, github repository and here simply click on the code and here we have to get the repository link so simply click on this icon it will copy the repository link and go back to the our jenkins so here add the repository link and followed by you need to specify the branch so branches to build here in this option here you have to specify the branch name in our case so if you see here so I'm simply clicking on this branch in my case only one branch is present and if you see here that is a main branch so here I will add the main and after that I will come down and inside the build environment I will select the first checkbox so that it will uh, delete the workspace if already previously cloned it and after that I will come to the build section so inside the build section I will select the second option that is execute Windows batch command 
So here we have to provide the command which has to be executed. That means so we are entering a command that will execute the our all the API test. So here I'm entering a new man followed by run and followed by we have to specify the our postman collection path. Right. So in so whenever this Jenkins builds uh, builds the workspace. So in my local it will create the repository over here. That means it will clone the GitHub repository in this location in my case. So simply I'll copy this location. And here we are specifying the location of the postman collection and followed by that. So it will add the Jenkins job name. So in our case a job name is postman with GitHub, Gen GitHub Jenkins, right? So here I'll add the postman with GitHub Jenkins and followed by so it will add the our postman collection github repository right so i will go to the our github repository and here so basically it will clone this particular folder so i will go inside this folder so we have to provide the complete path of this postman collection json file so here i'll copy the this particular folder name that is the postman collections and i will add to the path followed by json file name we have to provide it so simply i will copy the json file name so that's it so simply i will add the json file name now so after that simply click on apply and save it so that's it guys so we have created the jenkins job which is uh, cloning the postman collections from the github and it is executing the api test in the Jenkins. So let's click on the build now. And if you see here, automatically one build will be starting here. So let's click on the build. And if you look at here, so this is the workspace path. And this is our repository path. That's the GitHub repository path. And if you see here, so it just now it is created the folder with the postman with GitHub Jenkins. Previously it was not there. And if I come to the console output of the Jenkins. So it is already executed all the APIs. If you look at here, so all the API test, it is executed. And if you see, see in between here, so it is displaying the unique code characters. So we'll see how to resolve these unique code characters also. So our build is a failure. So this is expected failure because of here some of the APIs where needs the file to be uploaded. So that's the reason it is getting failed. So that's not an issue. So let's see how to fix the this unicode issue you can go to the this job jenkins job and click on the configure and go to the build section and here you need to write one simple parameter that is hyphen hyphen disable hyphen unicode so that's it guys so now let's click on apply and save it and let's build it second time so this time our Unicode issue should not be there in the console output. And if you see here, so it is started building once again in the same workspace. And basically we have selected that delete workspace option. So every time it will delete that workspace, this particular folder, it will delete it and it clones it freshly. So let's go to the our console output. And if you see here, so now it is not displaying any Unicode characters in between, right? If I come down also, so it is displaying all the data properly in the console output, right? So our build is failure that is an expected failure right so there are no unicode issues in the jenkins job so this is how you can integrate postman with the github and jenkins so let's look at the next two topics that is uh, how to schedule jenkins job and how to integrate newman report with the jenkins i have already covered these two topics in my previous postman tutorials you can learn these two topics from the previous postman tutorial i will show you how to learn these two topics from the my playlist here you can go to the youtube.com and here you can search for postman by testers talk you will find the very first playlist that is postman by testers talk go to the this playlist and if you scroll down you will find the eighth chapter so in this chapter, I have showed how to create and run the Postman collections in Jenkins and how to schedule the Jenkins job 
and also I have discussed how to generate the Newman report or how to integrate the Newman report with the Jenkins. So this is all I'm having in this session. Stay tuned for the next tutorial on the Postman. Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this video, I will guide you how to learn API testing using Postman and REST Assured library. There are two ways to learn the API testing. You can learn entire API testing from the Tester Stock channel or you can refer the official documentation and you can learn the API testing. So firstly, I will show you how you can learn the API testing using Postman tool from the Tester Stock. You can go to the YouTube and here you can search for Postman by Tester Stock and you will see the very first playlist that is a Postman by Tester Stock. You can go inside this playlist. This particular playlist contains all the chapters and the latest chapters are added into this particular playlist. So if you look at here, so the very first course, it contains the eight chapters. And if you scroll down very recently, I have added the ninth chapter, 10th chapter and 11th chapter. So in the upcoming days, I will be adding latest API testing tutorial on the Postman. So you keep checking this particular playlist and if I have added, it will be there in this playlist in the down. So this is how you can learn the Postman API testing from the tester stock. Now let's see how to learn REST Assured API automation testing from the tester stock. You can go to the YouTube and here you can search for REST Assured by tester stock. So here you will find the very first playlist that is the REST Assured by tester stock. You can go to this playlist. And if you see here, video number three and four. So if you see here, so these are the full courses. It has the 11 chapters. And if you come down here, so this is the 12th one. So this is the 13, this is the 14, 15, 16, and 17, and 18. So you will be finding the latest chapters in this particular playlist. So you can find uh, if I'm adding 19 chapter, so that will be added over here. So keep on, you can checking this particular playlist to learn the API testing using the REST Assured. So far, you have seen how to learn API testing using Postman and REST Assured library from the tester stock. Now, let's see how you can learn the API testing from the official documentation. So you can go to the google.com and here you just type Postman Learning Center. And you can go to the very first official website of first link of the Postman official website. And here you will find the explore the docs. Click on this particular button. On the left side, you will see the all the content. And you can simply click on get started and you can learn API testing using the Postman tool. And now I will show you how to learn API automation testing using the REST Assured library. You can go to the google.com and here you can search for REST Assured official documentation. And here you will find the very first link of the REST Assured official website. You can click on this particular link. And if you scroll down, you will find the documentation section here. And here you can click on the third link that is a usage guide and it will take you to the github page and here you will find the contents so this is a list of content for the rest assured api automation testing so if you click on any of the topic it will take you to the respective content so this is how you can learn the api testing using postman and rest assured
hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Sky on your mind. 